Okay, so today we have an unboxing of a Z170 motherboard. This is an ASUS Z170 Deluxe. Um, this has, uh, according to this, 5-way optimization, and it has 6 USB 3.1 10 gigabit per second uh, ports on the back. It has SLI support and it has Crossfire support. It is a Skylake motherboard, which means it supports all the Skylake processors like the i5-6600K and the i7-6700K. Um, excuse me. But yeah, as you can see from this picture, it is a kind of white and black theme motherboard. There is a little bit of blue, but um, it is almost unnoticeable. Of course, Windows 10 ready. So... We that's right. It opens like a normal motherboard. After that, so you have a little little bit of a window uh, into the motherboard, which I kind of like. I like the way Asus do that. You have all your specs about about a DM. Put your motherboard there. We take that up without ripping the box too much. So we have a motherboard in here, and um, we have a mountain of goodies under this. So starting off, we have our uh, Wi-Fi um, area. This will go into this. Will, two little things will screw into the back of the motherboard. It act like a normal aerial, and it will swivel. I'll show you now. This turns, so you can actually turn it. Magnetized base, so you can turn it to see which way will pick up the signal best. Put down. Put you down there. You have a tool that helps you install your CPU. So this will go on over the CPU and then bring it over to your socket and then drop it into the socket. Uh, we have six, which is actually quite unusual. I don't see six all that often. Usually just uh, two or four. And um, six satellites. Well, more than enough for the average user. This is um, a M.2 to U.2 uh, adapter. So, so go into the U, go into the M.2 um, socket, and then you will have you can have a U.2 drive that will go into this. An SLI bridge for SLI, obviously, and we also have a PCIe 2 M.2. Uh, I don't know what you call it, card maybe. So this would go into your PCIe slot, and then your M.2 drive will go into there. So it basically becomes one of the uh, one of the PCIe SSDs. So you can actually run two. M.2 drives because this motherboard has an M.2 um, spot on it. So you can run two M.2 drives in SLI or SLI in RAID. Sorry. And we have this. So basically, all of your front panel connections go onto this, and then this itself goes right onto the motherboard. So that's really handy. It, doesn't, it means you don't really have to. Um, like squint your eyes for 10 hours while you're trying to get those pins on you can put them all onto this and then shove it on whenever you have your rear IO shield and you can see this is padded it's a very high quality one you get those with, with most of the high-end motherboards and then your manual which is like a Harry Potter novel you have your driver disc again like I always say get them online because by the time you install these chances are there's going to be another one on online anyway and we have all of our um, all of our other documentation Asus HyperKit um, stuff this is safety information and um, a notice for 100 series motherboards and then you have your user's manual really snugly in there the box is literally the exact same size of the motherboard so it's just like stuck in so this 
great if you just want to connect the bike. This is a full sized ATX. It's pretty heavy as well. As you can see, it has a heat sink. It goes all the way around and is connected by a copper heat pipe, I believe it is. Sorry, an, an aluminium uh, heat pipe going all the way around. We have this cover that covers the um, the rear I.O. and the uh, all the sound modules. We have another heat sink here, a little ASUS logo and a little bit of blue. But I have to say this motherboard is a, it's a really nice motherboard. The white I think over here sets it off really nicely. Uh, it is, there is a lot of it to the to this area, but um, I'm sure if you build a system you can do it right. So if you have a look at this board, you can see you have your socket here. Uh, socket 1151 C170. Uh, we have four slots for RAM now. These are different. Which one is it? Which ones are they that actually come down? It's these ones. So with this, only one. They only have one retention arm. So your RAM slots in there, and then you push it down. Uh, it just it's a little bit easier than having both of them. Uh, 24 pin. USB 3, well one of the two USB 3's so you have your 6 SATA along here and you also have your SATA Express you have your front panel uh, connections that would be your uh, hard drive LED, power button, power LED, reset switch all that, 2 USB 2 another USB 3 we have reset and power buttons on the motherboard itself so we have a clear CMOS button and a memo key so what the memo key button does is if you have RAM in this that supposedly doesn't it isn't supported, you can press that and it may or may not the motherboard may or may not sort it out itself and have it run at a at a speed or whatever that is stable and that it can actually uh, function at. Um, and so we also have a readout so that will read out um, either a couple of numbers or a code that will tell you what's going wrong. Or else it'll just cycle through the. Uh, it will just cycle through the. Excuse me, hiccups. Um, all the codes, and uh, I think uh, the only other motherboard I've worked with that had that was an Asrock one, and that read out the temperature. Uh, if there was nothing wrong. And um, we have all your sound modules under here, along with uh, your front panel audio. We have three uh, PCIe slots and of course four other PC uh, PCIe slots as well. Uh, obviously not for graphics cards. And uh, we have our eight pin up here. Now this motherboard has a has plenty of uh, fan extension or fan header. Sorry. So we have your CPU uh, CPU optional. Uh, your CPU fan. This is kind of cool. It has an actual water pump um, header. So if you're running like a H100i or anything, you can hook that up into here, and it runs better for a water pump than it would a fan. You have your your chassis fan uh, here. Then you should have some more. Another one here. And I do believe there should be another one. Yeah, two more here. So, plenty of fan headers, so you can run a good amount of fans off this. Never mind the fact that if you were running a radiator or something, you'd probably have like a a three to one fan um, fan splitter. So on the rear, you have a just full full display port, full HDMI. You have your connections for your uh, what your Wi-Fi. All your USB 3.1. Uh, one of them is a Type C, Type A, um, two uh, gigabit LAN ports, one USB three and one USB two, and your audio in and outs. So, and that's basically it for the motherboard. Um, I don't have a CPU or graphics card to really test in this, sadly, but um, 
That has been an unboxing and like overview of the uh, I almost said as rock Asus Z170 uh, Deluxe. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.